Hello, my name is Anders Odden. I'm playing bass for a Norwegian black metal band called Satyricon. I've been uh, here for a whole day going through 40 or 50 different kind of bases. It's incredible how you like one really well and then you get another one and then you like that even better. So it's very hard to make uh, one choice. And uh, the first one I'm getting made here at the uh, Warwick factory is a Streamer LX for string. I will have um, maple neckwood and uh, the fingerboard will be made of Vinji. And uh, I have a red alder body. The whole thing will be set up with the LED lights in the top, so I can see where I'm playing. The neck will be long scaled, uh, 34 inches, and uh, with the 24 frets, EMG pickups. The body will be in black solid satin, and all the parts, the screws, and the nuts will be in black metallic. So I'm really looking forward to that base being made and very happy to be a part of the world family. When I was younger uh, I had both a bass and a guitar and I was living alone on a farm and um, I basically learned how to play all the instruments because uh, my band was rehearsing in an old barn and uh, the solo and the lead guitar parts was never really uh, my liking so I went always for the rhythm part. The bass basically <laughs> is an instrument where you can do all those things and uh, you can be in the background of the band or you can be in the front of the band. Bass players are anyway a rare species. We like being kind of in the background and uh, we don't need to flash everything. Having said that, there's some really influential bass players throughout the history of popular music which influence everybody, like uh, Lemmy from uh, Motorhead. His way of playing bass was very important uh, for my style of music. It's more like a rhythm guitar when he plays like Here's that will know it's uh, Ace of Spades, of course, Iron Maiden. Obviously, they have the bass mix very loud in the sound, but when I heard this stuff, like. I was like, what is that sound? And I realized that's the bass doing all these just crazy harmony parts. Of course, Gizu Butler, Black Sabbath, very influential on me. When I was really young, of course, um, uh, Gene Simmons' Kiss. Another really interesting thing with bass is that you can turn a guitarist's riffs upside down by choosing a different um, root note. Stuff that goes... Stuff on the G you can play. On top of that and make it sound totally different or you can do... top of stuff that goes like so it's a wide range of possibilities and uh, in uh, Satyricon we when we record an album like the one we did now uh, we did all the guitars and the drums first and then we worked on all the bass lines after all the guitars were done. When you add different bass lines to melody parts or riffs, uh, it can turn what sounds almost too jolly or nice into a much darker place, which I really like. It's uh, probably why bass is chosen by a lot of songwriters, because you can, by adding the bass, actually figuring out how to make your music original. and. Um, in that respect, bass is very underrated by uh, the audience of music. But if you took the bass away from most uh, songs that they really enjoy, they would miss a huge element of both rhythmical parts and harmonies and underlying melodies. 
So all this just proves that uh, there was a survey that stated that the bass is actually the most important instrument in music and uh, I think uh, Warwick is uh, the perfect uh, factory to maintain that uh, hegemony and uh, the variety of bass players that enjoy these basses are there to prove that they are doing something right.